This is a quick video to show you how to take a color photograph and convert it to a half tone black and white for use in sand carving on a piece of glass. First thing you need to do is always make a new copy of your photograph for each job that you want to use it for. You don't want to scale a half tone up or down once you've created it. Doing that will cause a moray effect and we'll talk more about that later. This is a photograph I'm going to use today to convert to a half tone. This is an 8x10 photograph and I want to make a copy of that and make a half tone on a 5x7 piece of glass. So not only will I have to scale it down a little bit, I'm also going to need to change the aspect ratio slightly. The first thing we'll do is we'll take the, illustrate, uh, the photograph and I'll make a copy of it and paste. So I now have a copy of the photograph. This is the one I'll be turning into a halftone. Let's start Corel Photo Paint. And we'll open up the copy. Here's the color photograph. So the first thing I would need to do is I need to resample this. So I'm going to go to Image and Resample. If you'll notice I have maintain aspect ratio turned on or checked. That's very important. Leave that on. If you'll notice it does say eight, uh, 10 inches wide and 8 inches high. If I change this to 7, it automatically changes the height to 5.6 inches because maintain aspect ratio is turned on. If I forced the width to uh, the height to 5 inches, the width turns to 6.25, which is not quite wide enough for the 7 inch projects so what I want to do is I'm going to make this seven inches wide and after I resample it I will crop six tenths of an inch off of the picture three tenths of an inch off the top and three tenths of an inch off the bottom. The next thing I need to do before I uh, resample is I want to change the resolution to 600 dpi. Let's click OK. We now have our image resampled. The next thing I want to do is I want to convert this to grayscale. Grayscale will take a 24-bit or a 32-bit full-color photograph and convert that to 256 shades of gray. That's the full palette for a grayscale is 256. And now I have a grayscale. I'm going to uh, make that fit. There's my grayscale image. The next thing I want to do is change the aspect ratio to make it fit 5 by 7. We'll go to image and we'll click paper size and my scale is inches and the little tool here shows that I have locked my or unlocked my aspect ratio so now if I change the height to 5.0 and the width stays the same, I click OK, I now have a 5 by 7 image for creating the halftone. It will be created exactly the size of the piece of glass that I'm going to sand carve it on. We won't uh, scale it up or down at all. The next thing I need to do is change the usage of the color palette so that my grayscale that's being used is in the center 80 to 85 percent of the 256 color range. If we get um, pixels that are, are very close to pure white or very close to pure black, when we create the mask, the, um, the lines left in the mask are going to be so fine that you're going to have a very good chance of, of blasting through them and ruining the photograph. So we want to squish our contrast range just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an adjust and con uh, contrast enhancement. If you look at the gray background that's the histogram of the original image. The black lines is the histogram of the adjusted image. This little slider bar here and this little slider bar I've pulled in from the ends so that now my out of the 256 uh, colors in the palette, the only colors I'm using are in the center 80 to 85 percent range. 
and we'll click OK and now this is the image we'll create a halftone out of. The next thing I need to do is go to image and convert to black and white. The conversion method defaults to halftone and I want to leave it halftone for this image uh, for this sample. The screen type we want to make around the screen and the degrees uh, defaults to 45 I'm gonna leave it at 45 what that means is the dots that appear on the screen will be in rows on, on a 45 degree angle the lines per inch is how many of those dots are in an inch of your screen I want to change this to 45 uh, anywhere 45 to 55 is is a good screen for sand carving um, the higher the number the smaller the dots the smaller the dots means that your abrasive has to be a finer grit and you have to take more care and it's going to take longer to blast the the uh, halftone. I'm going to click OK and that creates the halftone. Now if you'll notice this halftone you see some odd patterning in here and that's the moray effect I was talking about. The, the moray effect is being displayed because it's not being viewed at the scale it was created for. If you look at my scale up here, I'm viewing this at 18% of its original size. If I go to 100%, you'll notice my pixels look just fine and there is no patterning at all. Once we've got this, we save this file, print this to either a film positive or a transparency or to a vellum and expose a rapid mask and then you can excuse me, sand carve on glass and, and you'll have a nice halftone. If you have any questions please let me know.